Many of you who are watching this video know that this is an image of Kuan Yin. She's the regarder of the cries of the world, the Buddhist symbol for infinite compassion. In this particular statue, she's carrying a sutra or a Buddha scripture, which in my own mind undoubtedly is the Prajnaparamita Sutra, one of the Prajnaparamita Sutras, of which there are many, the uh, Wisdom Sutras of Mahayana Buddhism, the greater vehicle. The vehicle that's so great that it has the capacity to ferry all beings, all sentient beings, from this shore of suffering across the sea to the other shore of enlightenment, perfect enlightenment or Buddhahood. She is one of several what I think of as cosmic bodhisattvas. A bodhisattva is a being who makes vows essentially to save all beings or help all beings gain relief from their suffering. And these bodhisattvas vow that they will postpone their own attainment of nirvana or enlightenment or Buddhahood until they can accomplish the task associated with their vow. In Kuan Yin's case, she made a vow that if people just think of her in any dreadful circumstances that they might be encountering, that she will be there to give assistance to them. Her name was originally Avalokitesvara in Sanskrit, um, which basically means the same thing, regarder of the cries of the world. Um, in the Lotus Sutra, um, which is one of the most wonderful of the Mahayana scriptures or sutras. There's a chapter devoted to Avalokiteshvara. And there's a description in that chapter of how this cosmic bodhisattva uh, manifests himself, herself, uh, in any one of a myriad ways to meet the needs of a suffering being. Different ones of us, when we're suffering, we may have a need for uh, a helper to be in the form of a man or a woman or a teacher uh, or a um, neighbor. Um, whatever our particular need is, keeping in mind that the purpose of the Buddha is really to teach us and to help us, that this Bodhisattva, Kuan Yin, which, by the way, evolved from a male figure to a female figure, essentially, I think, in China. And so Kuan Yin is the Chinese name for, for this Bodhisattva. That she can manifest herself in many, 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 many ways. In fact, some statues of Kuan Yin show her with, I think it's like a thousand arms, uh, each of the arms having a hand with different implements that can help human beings so that she can help uh, essentially multiple human beings simultaneously. This is one of my favorite statues of Kuan Yin. Um, her hand broke off, but uh, um, it's a beautiful statue that I think is probably of Chinese origin. And again, I love the fact that she's carrying the, the Wisdom Sutra because these are the two attributes of the Cosmic Buddha. There are Cosmic Buddhas and Cosmic Bodhisattvas. And the two attributes of the Cosmic Buddhas are wisdom and compassion. And these two things are related. Um, and I may get into that more in another video. but. Um, I just want to briefly touch on the theory of the three bodies of Buddha. I've been talking about the cosmic Buddhas and Bodhisattvas who are um, 
beings that we can imagine might exist at a spiritual unseen level in the sense of uh, you know not uh, being manifest necessarily uh, as human beings um, that form of Buddha which is called the form body or Nirmanakaya would be somebody like Jesus or Buddha um, when Buddhahood actually manifests itself in the form of a human being who lives a life and who can um, be a teacher to human beings and help human beings um, develop and grow in their spiritual awareness. Um, the cosmic bodhisattvas and Buddhas um, is referred to in Buddhism as the, the Sambhogakaya or bliss body of the, of the Buddha, which um, is a source of pleasure for us as we think about the existence of cosmic beings such as Kuan Yin uh, there in our lives in unseen ways perhaps helping us to cope with whatever we're trying to muddle through. Um, and then the third body of the Buddha is the Dharmakaya or the law body or the truth body. Um, the, the, the Dharmakaya cannot be described in any words. Uh, no concepts can characterize the Dharmakaya. But it is from the Dharmakaya that the cosmic um, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are manifested. They are manifestations of the Dharmakaya. And the form bodies, the Nirmanakaya, um, are also manifestations essentially of the Dharmakaya in the context of um, the Buddha's desire to help us with our suffering and to help us achieve enlightenment. Um, I hope this has been of some interest. Namo Mita Boots.